Watch watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. See some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. <laughs> I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, this fellow Navy. It's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. <laughs> Hard to do that in a chat room, talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest 4x4. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Ah, uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go!
Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Hey, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. <laughs> We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> ah, we're getting nowhere fast. You need traction here. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Slip and slide. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. <clears throat> Sorry. What were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. It's going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. I'll bet we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. All right, hang on tight. Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on them. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean... The guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. Got some big plans for this winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. There. That ought to do it. Sam, look. That's... Christopher Condon's sigil is uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour.
All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha, <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time. Nathan, check out that cave there. Stay put. Hey, you see something? Oh, that was fun. How oh, would you look at that? Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
Wait. What's that? Nothing.
Okay. I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. They, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Looks like that bridge leads back to the trail. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now how do we get out of here? One to go. Sully, 
Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> you know, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. Rafe's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Thing in the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, Sam. If you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. You to check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked them to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Oh! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. The victor, you were saying? Right. Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of it. I'll be right back. I'll just wait with Sam. Onward. Check it out, boys. What is it? You can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. <clears throat> hey, guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? I can't tell. <laughs> So, how are you doing? 
Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Look at this. Quite the view. <sighs> Just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. We got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge. How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. Huh. Sure looks must have been here before. Where are his keepers? Sounds good. Hey, be careful, kid. <coughs> the the there's no way up to the drawbridge right now. All right, I'll see if there's something up here. <coughs> hey, guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam! Special delivery! Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, kid. You all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I seen a few. I'll bring the car closer. You just relax. I got this. I mean, there's only one train, you know. <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid.
Search the area. The one you left. Go, go. Damn it! Someone's here. Hey, what you got? Anything? Now, nothing. I want a search started now. Sign of him. Anything? I got nothing. I've got side one. Get side three. Yeah, okay. Nadine wants his brick dead. Find him. Jesus, that's awesome. There you go. He might be here. Oh. All right, then.
Hey. Now, let's get that bridge down. Let's try that again. Tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? Nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Well, Gonna take a look around. So, just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh. Half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the gun's weight. <laughs> Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure at play. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. Guys, we're gonna find it, pay off that lunatic, and still have plenty to spare. Trust me. There we go. All set. Here we go. Now turn in. Sharing this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. Something. 
Thanks. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Uh, almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. Sam, give me a hand with this. Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. Breaked over. All right, let's look around. Heads up! God, Jesus! I said heads up! Seems excited. Uh, he's got a lot riding on this. See a treasure, though. Guys, coming. Come check this out. Saint Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrell, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. The trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown is King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery Sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. 
Oh, I mean, a treasure's got to be in one of them, right? <laughs> yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Hope so. You okay? Yeah, yeah, fine. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? Just confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed, okay? Because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Guess we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no, no Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Oh, Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. Damn it. Uh, if you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. Really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. 